I come into the mind frame of what yoga is all about, predominantly about, and that is meditation, peace, finding meaning within yourself, um, harnessing your inner energy, letting your body radiate with it, and hopefully in the process, any ailments we have, a slow work or a slow patch um, to give it a little bit of ease. Okay, so let's first start with the three fundamentals of yoga. So now that we're sitting in our comfortable position, I want you to all close your eyes just for a moment. Gently closing your eyes. I want us to set an intention or an objective for what we want this class to be about. So whether it's physical, spiritual or emotional or a combination of the three. Let's close our eyes and just have a think about it. All right, taking a deep breath in now and exhaling. Let's do this two more times, breathing in. And last one. Okay. And now that we have set our intention, we're going to talk about the alignment of the spine. A lot of the time when we're sitting, we sit in, a, in the way that's most natural to us, right? And often, unfortunately, that means slouching or sitting a little bit curved or putting too much pressure on our shoulders when we should be putting pressure on our spine whilst it's straight. When I mean pressure, I mean allowing the, the spine to come to its natural curvature. And you might feel in the beginning that it feels a little bit unusual, but that's because the natural curvature has been disoriented to curve, perhaps because of our devices or perhaps being in the kitchen for too long or looking after kids where we often don't think about the way our spine is aligned. So starting from the top of the neck all the way inside of the hip, we're going to concentrate on propping it up. And we'll do that by rotating our shoulders. So nice gentle rotations of the shoulders backwards. And then gently forwards. And then as we rotate them backwards again, I want you to lift your elbows up, dropping them behind you and letting go of your hands. The pelvis, so the area where we're sitting on, we're going to neutralize. So if you feel like you're popped up too high, or too low, I want you to neutralize gently. Shoulders are pushed back. And then take a deep breath in and allow the belly to settle. And as you'll see, naturally the spine has now sat up and that gives us more surface area to work our body. Sound good? All right, so that's the first um, key component to yoga and yoga therapy is having a good posture. When we are in good posture, our mind frame reflects that. So often when we're sitting like this, it's often because we're quite sad or we're quite down and that reflects in the way we sit. When we sit up, we feel confident, we feel awake, we feel ready to get stuff done. Right? Second thing is our breathing. Yoga itself lays in the fundamentals of breath work. Today, we're going to be breathing in the ujjayi breath, which means ocean breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to lift up our belly, lift up the diaphragm, open up the ribs, and open up the heart space. All right, and we'll do this for three rounds. Breathing in through the nose, And exhaling. Breathing in through the nose. 
Breathing in through the nose. Exhaling. And one last time. And you can hear my breathing. And you want to be able to hear the breathing, the audible breath. And you hear the ocean. And that is the ujjayi breath. So pairing our posture, breathing. And the third one is the movement. The asanas that make up yoga as we know it. We're going to do something very simple. Put out one of our hands in front of us. Not stretching, just nice and easy, popping it out in front, opening and closing the hand. As we breathe in, we're going to open the hand. And as we breathe out, exhaling, we're going to close the hand. Let's do this for three on each hand. So opening the hand, breathing in through the nose. Exhaling. In through the nose. Lifting up the chest. And last one. Great job. Let's stop over. Hand comes out in front. And last one. Great stuff. And this is the three fundamentals of yoga therapy. If you do any of the one of the three, automatically you will feel a sense of relief, right? And if you pair them all together, you have the perfect antidote to a lot of ailments and aches that you can practice in your daily life. And it only takes a couple of minutes. Okay, great stuff, everyone. So you might be feeling a little bit like the breath work is quite heavy on the body. That's fine. We normally breathe from our chest. This time we're breathing from our belly. The yogic belly breath. Great stuff. So from here, if you can perhaps find a way to sit on your knees, and if you cannot, that's fine. If you've got, if you're sitting on a chair or a sofa, just prop yourself up nice and tall. Okay. And when we're ready, I want you to place your hands upon your knees. And over here, we're going to do a sitting up version of cat and cow breath work. So we're going to push the shoulders back. We're going to thrust the upper body forward. And as we breathe in, we want to close our eyes, holding that breath for a moment, and then exhaling, bring our hands forward, dropping the head in between. Okay, so we'll do a couple of practice rounds and then we'll try and get into the breath work. So sitting up nice and tall, breathing in, pushing up the chest, pushing back the shoulders, exhaling, hands come out. Hands can be out wherever's comfortable for you, dipping the head below, releasing the breath. Breathing in again, exhaling, and two more times now, breathing in, and out, in, and out. Hold on, take a moment now here. To allow the breathing to regulate. And from here, if you're sitting and you can come onto your knees, and then that would be really good. And if not, if you've got a nice big pillow, place it on top of your lap. And over here, we're going to do a child's pose. 
So sitting us again, nice and tall, making sure the alignment is correct. We're going to place our hands in front of us. And then gently lowering the forearms and the elbows, placing the forehead down. And what we want to do is we want the body to relax. The bottoms or the glutes are touching the back of the heel. So we're sinking into the body, in sinking into the mat or into the pillow. Over here, we want to close our eyes. And I'll guide you through simple meditation, closing the eyes, grounding yourself, allowing the body to relax and compress upon itself allowing the body to become nice and heavy. When you're ready, stretch out the hands in front of you. Slowly lifting up. Stretching upwards in a plank. And then when you're ready, placing the hands behind you. And over here, we want to lace our fingers together, pushing the head down, lifting the hands up. We are creating space between our hands and our shoulders. You can choose to look up or you can close your eyes. Take a moment to breathe. Gently letting go, hands are coming up. And then let's swing them around, creating nice big circles, creating energy within the body, radiating that outwards. And when we're ready, lifting up and coming into a standing position. Okay, great stuff. Let me push this back ever so slightly. There we go. All right, and over here, we're feeling a little bit more energized now, a little bit more settled into our routine. From here, we're going to open up the legs ever so slightly. We're going to bring again our pelvis into neutral. Our spine is stuck, shoulders are pushed back. And we're going to open up the palms here in mountain position. Once again, taking a nice deep breath in. Hands come up, connecting in the middle. We're going to come onto our tiptoes, allowing the body to stretch nice and tall. And when we're ready, Dropping back onto our feet, hands are coming down. We're going to come into our half bend. Again, gently lifting the hands up into a nice big sun salutation. Hands are slowly, gently coming down, bending. Allow the head to become heavy. From here, we're going to grab onto our elbows. And we're going to swing from side to side. This is called a rag doll position. Allow the head to become heavy. Let your feet dig into the mat or into the carpet, stabilizing you. And then when you're ready, gently letting go. Once again, hands come up, meeting in the middle. Coming onto your tiptoes. Exhaling, dropping the body. And this is great for releasing tension, a way to reconnect. Okay. From here, we're going to gently let go of the elbows. 
Let the hand swing a little bit. And then when you're ready, I want you to place your hands wherever you are comfortable on your legs. So if it's your toes, if it's your knees, if it's your thighs, whatever is comfortable for you, place your hands there. And we're going to feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Slowly and subtly. And then slowly walk your hands down. One hand palm further, if you can. And this is just encouraging flexibility, encouraging that stretch. When you're ready, I want you to lift up the hands once more, nice and tall. And then as we bend, we're going to push the hands behind us. Taking a moment here to breathe. When you're ready, letting go, let the hands swing. And gently coming back into our neutral position. Take a moment here for yourself, bending or twisting, wherever you can feel a little bit of tightness. Releasing any tension. And then coming onto the top of the mat. So over here, I'm using a mat. If you're not using a mat, that's fine. Just find enough space in front of you. Okay. From here, we're going to do a nice, easy step forward. Okay. So not lunging, just an easy step forward. Enough for you to have movement. The knee. We're going to bring it towards our toes. The knee and the toes need to align. And then we're going to place our hand onto our hips. We're going to look forward in front of us, nice and tall. Gently lifting the hands up once again, meeting in the middle, warrior one, slowly releasing. Coming into warrior two. The hands are aligned out in front of us. So if you position them with your nose and the, the ear, the back hand for the ear, that would give you a good proportion on how to raise the arms. Looking forward. Feeling nice and strong and tall, like a warrior. And then when you're ready, let the hands meet in the middle once more and then gently step back, releasing. Yeah, great stuff. And then placing yourself perhaps on the other side of your mat or your space. Again, we will repeat on the opposite side. Nice, easy step forward. And my feet, I mean, I'll show you with my hands. So one foot is facing towards the wall in front of me and the other one is facing out in front of me. And that is a good place to uh, keep your feet so it gives you enough surface area to balance. And then again, when you're ready, bring our knee towards our toes, holding onto the hips, looking forward. Spine is nice and straight, meeting the hands in the middle. And out they come into warrior two. And then when you're ready, letting go, stepping back. Again, coming into your neutral position. This time we're going to bend the knees ever so slightly. Okay, and we just need to stand and gently bend the knee, coming into a motion of energizing the legs, especially the upper thighs. 
And you might notice that often our thighs, upper thigh, is where we the start of our pain begins, right? Because we have huge massive nerves running through the biggest nerve in our body, run through the thigh. So for us to unrele to release the tension in the nerves, we should slowly just ease ourselves into each exercise. Okay. And then when we're ready, coming into a comfortable bend. So a nice seat, right? And whatever is comfortable for you, if you feel like this is enough, or I can push myself, it's completely up to you. Know your threshold as we go through the weeks. Hopefully your threshold should increase alongside with the flexibility. But in the beginning, let's be a little bit gentle on ourselves, give ourselves space to grow. And then once you feel like I'm in a good position, want us to raise the hand out in front of us, opening up the palms towards the wall in front of us, and then slowly sinking and breathing. And if you choose to, you can connect your hands in your heart center, lifting up the hands and gently coming back into our margin position. From here, we're going to step back, holding onto the hips. So we're going to bend ever so slightly. And take your time here as well. Feel the center of your spine, the small of the back, leaning into the back of the glute. And deep belly breathing here. Really want to feel the rib cage expanding. When you're ready, coming back to neutral, stepping back. And let's repeat with the opposite leg. So stepping back the leg, bending back everything gently. And over here, allowing the head to become a little bit heavy. And we're so gently coming back into neutral. Okay. And now you feel that you feel a little bit more worked out, especially the lower back. So this is great for lower back tension. Gently just bending back with intention, understanding where the pain is, holding onto it, and then releasing it. All right, now I invite you all to take a seat back down into whichever comfortable position we started off of in. So, we sometimes some people will sit in the yogic kind of way that we normally see. So the lotus position or whatever, you know, takes their fancy. I just want you to sit comfortably. As long as you are nice and comfortable, your pelvic floor is in its neutral position and you have access to the space around you in terms of your limbs, right? Now that we're sitting, Comfortably, I want you to place one arm upon your leg. You can hold onto your knee. Now place the other hand on top of our shoulder. I'm going to do nice big rotations of our elbows. And then when you feel ready, we're going to place this elbow behind us. We're going to open up the hand. And then we're going to bend into the side, bringing the hand over and breathing.
and then choosing to hold your shoulder, only to pop up the elbow, looking up, increasing that stretch into the back of the neck. And gently, when you're ready, first placing the hand down and then coming back to neutral. Again, onto the opposite side, holding onto that knee, placing the entire forearm across the leg, holding onto the shoulder. And then shoulder drops back, hand extends outwards, and coming over. And I want you to feel the stretch from your hip all the way up into your finger as you come into your side. And then when you're ready, holding onto that shoulder and leaning back gently. And here you might find that you can feel a, stripe, a slight stretch into the front. And this is opening up all of the nerves that connect into the shoulder space. And then when you're ready, releasing this hand, coming up. And just here, take a moment again to yourself, releasing any nuggets of tension. And now from here, we're going to do a little bit of mindful meditation. And as we pop ourselves up, I want us to gently rotate the shoulders and the head. So we want the head to feel quite heavy. We want gravity to really just drop it downwards. Let it do most of the work here. Tucking the chin in towards the chest. Gently allowing the head to rotate back. And then really feeling the grunt of the tension in the neck release. And you'll notice as you come forward, the head, if doing correct, if you just swing, all we're doing is pivoting the direction. Right. And then from here, hopefully next week, um, if you like, we can start using essential oils. For today, we'll just practice um, the kind of therapy that comes with um, you know, where our energy resides in our body. And we'll focus predominantly on the face and the forehead. So we're going to place our hands upon our forehead, applying firm pressure, and then pushing back the hairline, allowing the hands to hold onto the top of the head, shoulders and the elbows are completely pushed back. Allow the neck to be bent ever so slightly. And when you're ready, placing those hands down towards the temples, rotating, allowing the eyes to close, massaging in slow circular motions. And you can use whichever essential oil you like the most, you know, whichever one you feel like um, makes you feel happy, makes you feel relaxed, as long as it's okay to use on your skin. And then slowly dragging the fingers down towards the back of the ears where the earlobes are. Again, applying really firm pressure, pushing the fingers in and out. And then once you're ready, traveling the hands down towards the neck. And famously, the throat chakra resides in the neck. We're just going to give it a slight massage. And often you feel like when you're in pain or you're upset, the throat tends to close up. You have this lump in your throat, right? I think we're all familiar with it. And often that's because we are unable to communicate what we are feeling. Often we're sad, we don't know, we, can't, we don't know the words to describe the pain 
or we don't really know what we're feeling, we're just feeling it. And often we'll feel that in the throat. But just a daily reminder, um, you know, that we're free to say whatever we like. You know, the throat is located just above the heart space for a reason. That we should communicate, shouldn't hold it in. All right, and then bring the hand towards where the shoulders meet the neck. Again, bringing the elbows together here now. We're going to draw a nice big circle, holding on to this little piece of muscle, bone, and skin, a place which a lot of our tension resides. Very delicate area. Placing our thumb into the corner of the collarbone, go to massage, apply firm pressure here, and then bringing the elbows once again together, bringing them towards the tummy or towards your center. We're going to drop the head, allowing the chin to rest. And you can choose to rock here. Just focusing on our breath work, gentle breathing here. Allow the head to be heavy. And then once again, raising those elbows up, hands are coming out, palms are open, body is open. Let's smile and breathe in. And exhaling, dropping the hands. Again, over here, hands are now beside us. And just keeping them out, not stretching, just nice and comfortable. Breathing in and out. When you're ready, placing the hands up, they can meet and then twisting onto the side, bringing the hands out in front of us. You can choose to use the, your hands as little claws onto the ground as you propel into your twist allowing the side hip to really feel a good stretch. And then we're going to lean into the back hand. Hand is coming up. And then again, placing on our shoulder, leaning into that back hand. Mm -hmm. And comes up and over down to neutral, and then a left swap over. Twisting as far in as you can. Again, placing the hand flat onto the ground, hand comes up, touching the shoulder, leaning back. Allowing the hand to settle, and then bringing ourselves back to neutral. Okay, again over here, take that moment, it's crucial. Right. And now I invite you all to take a lie down wherever you are. Um, you can prop up some pillows. Um, if you're sitting on a chair, you can just lean back. Um, we won't do the full corpse pose today, um, just a slight variation of it, just to introduce you. I know some of you have done yoga before, so you might be familiar, but for those who haven't, just taking that moment to really just have quality um, escape from the day. Those, those five minutes purely which are yours. These five minutes belong only to you, it's for yourself to really give yourself a break from the busy 24 hours we have. <laughs> so I'll lay down here. You can choose to lay down too. And over here, we want the body to just be nice and heavy. 
you can allow yourself to just take as much space as you need. So if you feel like spreading out across the floor is comfortable for you, go ahead, do it. And if you feel like you want to be a little bit more tucked in, a little bit more cozy, go ahead. As long as you are comfortable and grounded, your body truly feels like dead weight. And then breathing in and out gently. From here, we want to close the eyes. So a switch on some music, hopefully. Closing the eyes. Allowing the body to relax. And then when we're ready, we're going to bring our attention to our toes. Give them a little wiggle. Bring your awareness to them. And then allowing the body as it sinks in deeper, the physical cells melting away. Our attention from our toes goes into the foot, up, up the ankle, into the calf. We're bringing our awareness into the knees and the thighs, gently into the hips into the torso, traveling up the body. Coming into the ribs, into the shoulders, traveling down the arms, into the fingers. And over here, give your fingers a little bit of a wiggle, bring your awareness to them. Relaxing once more as our focus comes into the chest, into the heart space, into the throat, into the face and behind the eye, traveling to the forehead. And finally, into the head, down the very last strand of hair, bringing our focus all to which makes us the physical entity that we are, letting go of that, allowing it to melt into the ground, bringing up our spiritual, emotional self to the surface, allowing the energy we created today with our bodies and our mind come to the surface. Gentle breathing here. Closing the eyes, falling deep into relaxation. Breathing in, 
In again, once through your belly, let your body bring slowly, bringing your awareness back into the present moment. From here, we're going to place our hands up behind us, stretching the body out. And when you're ready, relaxing and coming back into your comfortable position. As you sit back in, let yourself slowly come into the present moment. Allow your mind to awaken, come back into perhaps now a more relaxed state than when we started off. <laughs> Take one last big breath and release The longest exhale you've taken all day. And thank yourself for coming, for being present in this moment, for taking the time out for yourself today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the class. Um, I'll hand it over back to you, Dr. Now. Thank you, Maliha. It was a wonderful session. We really enjoyed it. Thank you it. very much. Really wonderful session. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very nice. Thank you. Even enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Maliha. You mentioned about the oil. Is it anything specific you recommend for the next session? Sure. So I use eucalyptus oil. Um, I'll just show it to you one second here. And you can choose to use, there you go. You can choose to use whichever one you like. So I use eucalyptus. I feel like that's a very good starting oil. Um, you can choose to get the same one. It's called Potters. I got it from Holland and Barrett. So it's easily available in any of these health shops. And what it does is it's a massage oil, so you can use it on the skin. So whichever oil you choose to use, it could be rose or mandarin or whichever one you like, as long as it's suitable for the skin. So you get different types of oils and some are okay for a diffuser and then some are okay for the actual skin. Baby oil will do, yeah? Baby oil? Baby oil? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Coconut, oil. Coconut oil is good. Um, I use a lot of coconut oil myself, even if you've got like, you know, a moisturizing cream, which has yeah. quite a lot of oil in it as well. You can use that. As long as you can massage it into the face, it's good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, Maria. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone have a lovely rest of the day. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Maria. I had a phone call from my 